Have you ever stopped and wondered if everything around you is real? Because sometimes things happening around us can be quite shocking, and perhaps even disturbing. We either start pinching ourselves or trying all sorts of things to remind ourselves that we're actually alive, and that the world around us is still in fact real. Today we're going to be looking at 10 mysterious events that will make you question reality. You'll probably finish this video with a ton of questions, and you might think back of a few moments in which you were not sure whether things around you were real or not. At the top of the list, you'll find a shocking video that has no explanation, but it is something real. Or at least, that's what we like to think. So, stay tuned and let's try to find some explanations of these things. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Potomsky Crater. When you look at this crater, you can immediately tell that it's not like the rest. This crater has the shape of a nest, which is why some people have come to know it as the Eagle's Fire Nest. Located in southern Siberia, this anomaly was just discovered about 300 years ago by a geologist named Vadim Kolpakov. Now, what's intriguing about this crater, besides its shape, is the fact that no one can fully explain how this crater was formed. A lot of people think that it was caused by a meteorite, while others think that the crater is a huge breakthrough of what could be a pocket of natural gas. However, most scientists believe that a meteorite was involved in some way, but they can't confirm that fully due to the fact that craters have a very different shape when they've been formed by a meteorite. One of the most impressive things about the crater is that all of the trees around it experienced rapid growth, which people believe has to do with radiation linked to the crater. Number 9. Animals fall from the sky. What's a typical sight on a New Year's sky? Well, fireworks, of course. But things were a little bit different in Arkansas back in 2011, when around a thousand blackbirds were seen falling from the sky on New Year's Day. This happened in the town of Beebe. When authorities started doing the research, they found out that no other part of Arkansas had experienced this. However, they did find 100,000 dead fish along the banks of the Arkansas River. While the birds and the fish are two completely different events, people began to wonder if there was a connection, especially since the two things happened in Arkansas within the same time frame. When the birds were examined, they were found to be in healthy conditions, and they had probably collided against each other and began to fall. Some others believe they died due to firework-induced stress. Ultimately, the experts concluded that the deaths were induced by blunt force trauma. That's a lot of birds in one day, though. Number 8. Orchid Delirium Sometimes, other humans are the ones who cause us to question reality. An example of this is when people became highly obsessed over something so small. Back in the Victorian era, there were tons of wealthy people who developed an obsession for orchids. It came to the point that people started sending explorers all around the world just so they could get their hands on some of the most exotic orchids out there. This phenomenon was known as Orchid Delirium, and actually, this is something that is still happening today, as there are still quite a few orchid enthusiasts in the world. Some people got so obsessed over rare orchids that they went as far as stealing them from other collectors. I mean, orchids are definitely beautiful and strange flowers, but stealing them? That's a little much, don't you think? Now there's an international trade agreement that bans people from collecting orchids from the wild, but that really hasn't stopped people from trying. Number 7. The Dancing Plague I've heard that dancing is contagious, but what I'm about to show you takes that idea to a whole different level, and honestly, it's quite disturbing. Back in 1518, a European city was striked by what people came to know as the Dancing Plague. It all started when a woman named Frau Trophia started dancing without being able to control it. Soon after that, more people began to join her. They spent many days dancing, until finally, a month later, a lot of them began to die. Some of them had heart attacks, others had strokes, and some just got really tired. You might find it hard to believe since it happened more than 500 years ago, but there are lots of documents that confirm that this event actually happened, and all of them agreed that the people were dancing. But what the documents can't explain is the reason behind this strange plague. Modern theories believe that the plague had to do with food poisoning and high fevers that led the people to have epileptic attacks that resembled dancing. However, back in the day, people thought that the plague was linked to a religious cult, and others gave credit to a curse. Just like it mysteriously began, it mysteriously came to an end. Number 6. The Sinking Expert Surviving a major catastrophe is kind of a big deal. But what if you survived three similar deadly scenarios in different times of your life? That would make you a legend. 
And that's exactly what happened to Violet Jessup, an Irish-Argentine nurse who survived the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. But that wasn't her only experience. Prior to that, she was on board the HMS Hawk when it sank in 1911. And years later, she also had to live through the sinking of the HMS Britannic when this one was affected by an explosion. I'm sure the third time wasn't as scary as the first. If there was someone who knew what to do during the sinking of a ship, that would be Violet. Number 5. The Lightning Man. And here's another person who defined the laws of life. His name is Roy Sullivan. He was a U.S. park ranger in Virginia, and while he worked there, he was struck by lightning on seven different occasions. This is a big deal, because first of all, the possibilities of someone getting struck by lightning are 1 in 700,000, which means it's honestly pretty rare. And also, at least 10% of the people who get struck by lightning don't survive to tell their story. And if you survive, your life won't likely be the same. Lightning can produce brain damage, burns on your skin, and other unpleasant effects that could change your life forever. But in the case of Roy, the only thing he had were scars. At some point, people were scared of Roy. They were afraid they would be struck by lightning if they stayed around him for too long during a stormy day. Roy Sullivan was indeed a legend, and sadly, the thing that killed him was not lightning, but an unrequited love, which led him to end his life with a gun at the end of 71. Number 4. The Book Prediction We've all heard about the Titanic, right? There are plenty of books, plays, and of course, a very famous movie inspired by the infamous sinking that happened more than a hundred years ago. However, there are also two books that came out before the sinking occurred. Just how can that be possible? One of the books is called How the Mail Steamer Went Down in Mid-Atlantic by a survivor, and narrates a story of an ocean liner that sinks in the middle of the Atlantic, just like the Titanic. In this book, the protagonist was always worried about the shortage of lifeboats. Women and children are given priority, and at the end, only 200 of the 700 passengers make it out alive. At the end of the book, the writer states, this is exactly what might take place if the liners are sent to sea short of boats. And what's even darker and twisted is that the writer of this book, W.T. Stead, died in the disaster. The other novel, called The Wreck of the Titan, is even closer to reality. This one narrates the story of a liner that sinks after hitting the tip of an iceberg, much like the Titanic. With so many details close to the real event, these books could easily be used as evidence of time traveling. Number 3. Breathing Earth With wobbly trees and ground that keeps rising and falling, this forest looks like it's breathing. It makes me feel as if the trees will start walking and rise against us at any point, kind of like that one scene in Macbeth. However, this is not a scene from a fantasy film or the effects of some earthquake. What you see here is what happens when the ground becomes saturated and the wind blows on the tree's crown. When the force of the wind reaches the roots, the trees begin to shake. And if the blowing of the wind gets a bit stronger, these trees could fall. So you definitely don't want to stand too close in case this happens. I guess when you look at the scientific explanation, you realize it's not as exciting as all the other fun theories we could come up with. But I do want to remind you that trees breathe, and so does the ground by taking and releasing the carbon dioxide that they get from the air. But hey, if you ever want to make a film that takes place inside a fantastical forest where trees might attack people, you should definitely go to this place. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for today has Saturn on it. That's probably what it would look like if that planet was a bit closer to ours. Of course, this picture is not real, otherwise everyone would be talking about it. Now, there are two things that appeared on the sky that were actually real, and they definitely made me question reality. Number 2. The Arizona Fireball We've seen movies about asteroids at some point, am I right? There's Armageddon, Judgment Day, Land Before Time, lots of movies, and many others in which these huge pieces of outer space matter are heading to Earth and threaten our life. Or in Land Before Time's case, dinosaurs. And in some other films, such as Superman and Transformers, these fireballs turn out to be someone who comes to save us all from the forces of evil. Now, have you seen an asteroid or any other fireball in real life? Because if you have, I'm sure you started to pinch yourself and you wondered whether you were inside a dream. Take this video for example, recorded in Arizona in 2020. It could easily pass as the starting scene of a sci-fi movie in which our planet is threatened to be destroyed. The object is traveling at a speed of 50,000 miles per hour. Experts are convinced that it was a meteor, but it likely burned out before it hit the ground, which explains why people couldn't find any proof of it in Camp Verde, Arizona, which is the area where they believe it landed. 
But you don't need to find ashes of this meteor to validate its existence. The event was caught in different videos all around town, and local people say they saw a couple of other fireballs in the weeks prior to that. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The City in the Sky Are we alone? Is there life after death? What is real and what isn't? Those are some of the questions that come to mind as we see some of these crazy mysterious events happening around the world. But the one I have at the top of this list is pretty insane. A few years ago, people in China reported to have seen what appeared to be a city floating in the clouds. Many people could argue and say that the video is fake, but there were many people who saw it and many people recorded it, so it's hard to say it didn't happen. There is, however, a scientific explanation as to what happened. They call it a superior mirage, and it happens when the air temperature near the surface is cooler than the air above. This is also what happens when you're in the desert and you see something that looks like water, but once you get close to it, you realize there's no water at all. Our brains in this natural phenomenon can definitely play some tricks on us. No wonder sometimes we question reality. Let me assure you, you're real, you exist, and you gotta make the best out of this life even when the crazy events make us feel like we're in some sort of sci-fi movie. What did you think of these events? Have you seen any other things that made you question reality? Let us know in the comments section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.